From banana bread, coffee cake, and the wildly popular sourdough, to s'mores and donuts, here are some of the biggest old-school baked goods that either roared back to popularity or got even more popular than they already were during the COVID era of 2020 and 2021. It's impossible to talk about recent bakery trends without first addressing the great sourdough explosion of 2020. One of the most immediate fads that emerged following the first COVID-related lockdowns and shelter-at-home protocols was an almost obsessive trend of sourdough bread baking, not just across the nation, but around the world. According to Refinery29, Google searches for bread recipes hit a record high in March of the year that brought us COVID-19, and Canadian bread baker Ashley Turner welcome students from as far as Australia to her online sourdough courses. Bakeries sold or even gave away their long cultivated sourdough starters and millions of home bakers got in on the trend. Turner told Global News, I think what happened was you couldn't get yeast anywhere in the grocery store and that's what people are used to baking with. I think a lot of people wanted to get back to the basics and cooking in their kitchens, cooking for their families. And this was one of the ways to do that. Though they originated in Poland, bagels have long been associated with two places, New York and Montreal. But with a classic bagel spot in New York City made famous by Seinfeld shuttering pre-pandemic, compounded by the fall from grace of Instagrammable rainbow bagels, the round bread has been well overdue for a makeover. Bagels on the house. Enter the California bagel. To hear the New York Times of all outlets tell it, California bagel makers are driving a great bagel boom, producing some of the most delicious versions around. And California isn't the only place outside of New York where bagel bakers are finding room to shine. Thanks in part to a rise in bagel consultants and the debunking of the myth that New York water was what made Manhattan's bagels so special, bagels are experiencing a resurgence all over the U.S. That's happening both in professional bakeries and at home, as Jason Diamond explored with experiments in home bagel making for food and wine. While one subset of the population has taken advantage of the COVID-19 era in really getting their hands dirty with ambitious baking projects at home, another group has fled in the opposite direction. Being home all day and becoming their own baristas, cafeteria lunch ladies, and restaurant chefs has led some to seek out simpler baked goods. What better tool for those tired of being chained to the range than to rely on the tricks their grandmothers used? Much as housewives of the 50s and 60s relied on convenience foods, so too are modern cooks taking advantage of shortcuts, like boxed cake mixes, to bake something with the appeal of homemade, minus all the effort. Mmm, oh that is terrific, just terrific. A 2021 market report revealed that high sales growth for cake mixes is likely to continue until 2027. And it's no surprise, boxed mixes aren't just delicious on their own, they also make a great base for poke cakes, mug cakes, and more. Some companies have even launched luxury cake mixes to combine the ease of store-bought with the high quality that millennial home cooks crave. Banana bread has long been a bake sale fave, thanks not only to its ease of prep and deliciousness, but also to the fact that it naturally helps you use up food that might otherwise be wasted. Maybe it's the combination of culinary nostalgia and increased attention to pandemic-era food waste that contributed to the increasing popularity of banana bread in 2020. Whatever the reasons, during lockdown, searches for banana bread recipes online skyrocketed a whopping 525%. And to hear Southern Living tell it, the banana bread trend only continued after 2020. The 2021 spin, according to the magazine, turning the tender quick bread into a decadent grilled cheese by sandwiching luscious brie cheese between two tender slices of toasted banana bread. Much like banana bread, bread pudding is an old-school staple designed with reducing food waste in mind. Up to 40% of food is wasted in America, according to experts, and during the pandemic, with staples like pasta and rice flying off the shelves, even more attention was paid to this essential issue plaguing the nation. Luckily, bread pudding is a delicious solution to the problem. Made by soaking bits of leftover stale bread in a custard and then baking until creamy and set, bread pudding is a nostalgic favorite that's a popular way to quote upcycle stale bread according to the guardian bread pudding can be sweet as with cherry pecan bread pudding or savory as with a version pairing seasonal artichokes with gooey cheddar cheese either way it's a tasty treat that has thankfully come back into vogue whether you grew up on homemade or entomans 
Coffee cake was likely a constant throughout your childhood, and now it's back in full force. Just like banana bread, coffee cake is a quick, easy recipe to assemble with just a handful of pantry staples, boasting the added bonus of a sweet, crumbly topping that's deceptively simple to make. Jimmy Fallon is responsible for the cake's 2021 ascent to reclaimed fame as he documented tasting the locally famous iteration from New Jersey's BNW Bakery on his Instagram. In business since 1948, the bakery sells almost 2,000 pounds of the cake every week, and it ships nationwide. So when Fallon filmed himself trying the delightful cinnamon-spiked cake with his daughters, he created fans of the Hackensack staple all around the country. And if that wasn't enough of a reason to revitalize this classic, one 100-year-old Scott credited a daily slice of coffee cake for being the secret to her longevity. The pleasure of digging into a slice of perfectly tangy lemon cake cannot be denied. The famous treat recently soared in popularity when, in the wake of her eye-opening 2021 interview with Oprah, Meghan Markle baked up a lemon and olive oil cake as a thank you to volunteers distributing meals she and husband Prince Harry donated to hungry Chicagoans. That lemon drizzle cake is a favorite of the queen and is perhaps further proof that the beloved monarch was not at the heart of Markle's beef with the royal family. Markle alleged made the cake with lemons from her own California garden, another on-trend choice during the pandemic, when seed packets and soil bags flew off the shelves. Martha Stewart, meanwhile, united two on-trend baked goods by mashing up lemon cake and coffee cake in a recipe perfect for spring. Los Angeles-based Poodoo Poodoo recently sought to revamp Pudding's Rep with an Instagrammable Venice Beach shop peddling puddings boasting superfood ingredients like turmeric and pomegranate and, of course, a few plant-based options. Butterfly in the Sky had already become a popular flavor by early 2021 with its bourbon vanilla pudding, spirulina, banana cacao powder, chocolate curls, and edible jasmine blossom. Florian Schneider, managing director of Dr. Edgar Hospitality, Pudu Pudu's parent company, told Santa Monica Daily Press, the feedback so far is very positive. Everybody knows pudding from his or her childhood, but playing with all of these flavors makes it a very exciting experience for them. Campfire favorite s'mores are experiencing a resurgence that's evident in new product launches from top brands in 2021. Jet Puffed released s'mores flavored marshmallow bites to tide you over until your next cookout, while Hershey's expanded licensing for its s'mores branded tools and accessories to help you perfect your marshmallow and chocolate sandwiches. Ernie Savo, senior director of global licensing at Hershey's, told All on Georgia, consumers are continuing to find moments of goodness in simple activities like family s'mores nights and backyard celebrations. We're proud that our iconic brands have a place in these moments and we're eager to create partnerships that extend that relationship from our snacking portfolio to a complete experience. Over in the UK, posh grocery chain Marks & Spencer launched an oh-so-instagrammable s'mores brownie you can even bake in the oven at home. And for the home cook, the Wall Street Journal featured a from-scratch, ginger-spiked, boozy s'mores recipe that revitalizes the classic. If you're not from the South, chances are you've never heard of this spiced pineapple and banana scented cake with cream cheese frosting. Once one of the most popular cakes for home bakers, Hummingbird Cake's popularity fell somewhat to the wayside in the late 20th century. Martha Stewart attributed the fall from grace to the fact that the original is just too sugary for some. With Vice reporting a rise in desserts that were, quote, not too sweet in 2020, it was time for a makeover, and Stewart delivered. Her revamped version relies on better-for-you coconut sugar to add just the right amount of sweetness to the moist base. The appeal of gargantuan foods is no secret, with giant pizzas, burgers, and more regularly making the news. But while cinnamon rolls are known for their big cinnamon flavor, it wasn't until recently that one in Ames, Iowa became known for its size as well. The two-pound, ten-dollar cinnamon rolls at barbecue restaurant Cornbread soared to popularity in March of 2021, when a Facebook photo of a server holding two, quote, giganto rolls went viral. By March 20th, as the Ames Tribune reports, the post had reached more than 1 million Facebook users, and Cornbread Facebook page followers more than doubled. You don't need to venture to Iowa to try these rolls either. A Washington Post journalist shared her experience baking them with her son at home. Yet another example of home cooks revitalizing a nostalgic bakery favorite. 
Old-fashioned donuts used to be a staple of diners and coffee shops, but today, on-trend donuts hail from a major chain, Krispy Kreme. As the vaccine rollout progresses through the U.S., Krispy Kreme has promised a free donut to anyone who can present a vaccination card, while the chain has been offering an Oreo glazed version since April. Dunkin' Donuts, meanwhile, while not offering free donuts, certainly contributed to donuts' increased rise in popularity, with more than 40 vegan donuts joining their menu offerings recently. Given the ever-increasing popularity of plant-based diets, this step can give Dunkin' its piece of the donut pie. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mashed videos about trendy foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.